Is it still a buyer's market? Well, the technical answer is yes. In Manhattan, we have 16 and a half months of supply and we consider six months of supply to be a balanced market. And yet over the past two weeks, I have had to act quickly, think on my feet and come up with strategies to make sure that my buyers got the property they wanted without getting into a bidding war. Stay with me, I'm gonna give you three things you need to do to be prepared to get the property you want at a great price in a fast moving market. Welcome to Monday Market Stats, where I bring you the numbers and the stories behind them. Last week, there were 355 contracts signed, making 27 consecutive weeks where sales have risen. For the past seven weeks, we have seen strong sales in the luxury market. Now, clearly demand is strong and plenty of people believe in New York City. So if you want to get the property you want at the right price, you have to be prepared to move quickly. Here are the three things you need to have ready to go. The first thing you need to have ready is your mortgage pre-approval letter. If you are paying cash, you will be asked to show proof of funds. That can be simply a statement with the account number redacted. The other document you'll be required to show is a revenue financial statement. This is simply a spreadsheet showing what your financial picture looks like. And if you don't have one of those forms, I'm happy to send it to you. But both of these documents are required when you make an offer. The second thing you need to do, work with an experienced broker who's a good negotiator. Last week, I was able to save a deal. My buyers had an accepted offer and someone came in with a higher offer. And simply because I had good, strong relationships with the other broker, I had behaved professionally, I behaved nicely, and the other broker was abrasive. And it didn't matter that that party was offering more money. The seller and the seller's broker chose to go with my buyer and we saved the deal. Finally, you will need a real estate attorney. And that must be an attorney who is New York City based and specializes in real estate. Now, if you have an accepted offer and you're suddenly busy at work and you don't have time to line that up and you don't respond for a day or two, it could cost you the deal. So make sure you know who you're going to retain when you have an accepted offer. I promise these three tips will help you get what you want. I want to thank you for watching another episode of Monday Market Stats and a big shout out to all of you who keep responding and telling me how much you enjoy my content. I really appreciate that. Now, if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm more than happy to, and we can talk about how you can achieve your real estate goals in this fast-paced market. We post lots of great content on our YouTube channel, so head over to the Bolin team on YouTube. We have property videos, and we have interviews with experts, and we'd love for you to subscribe. Thanks.